All right, everybody, this is Evan Abrams, and we're going to get into some expressions. We're going to be using expressions to make this text twitch back and forth on the screen, and we're going to do so using random number generators, variables, and the if expression. So we'll be using a random number to feed into an if expression, and that will control whether or not we are spazzing out this layer. I wish that my spazzing out was controlled by variables, but those are really just caffeine and how much stress I'm under, and, uh, you know, I don't moderate either of them very well. So let's get into it. Uh, make a thing, uh, select the layer, hit P, uh, hold down Alt or Option, click on the stopwatch, and let's type something in. Now what we're going to type in here is, uh, first off, we're going to set up a random number generator. So r equals random and please go from 0 to 100 come up with a random number between 0 to 100 on every frame thanks you're super now we're gonna have an a that is going to be linked to uh, a slider control just bear with me here uh, slider control and the a will stand in for amplitude or uh, you know how big that is. Um, you'll notice all these errors I'm getting. I'm just dismissing them and moving on. I cover a lot of the errors, the common errors in the earlier uh, versions of this. So uh, if you want to know what those mean, go, go back and go back and look at those. But for right now, just please be confident that I know what I'm doing. So right now uh, we have a couple variables and the output we want is going to be x comma y in an array and we want only one of the values to change so let's write in one of them now we can leave the y as value of type 1 and that's just saying that reference this value for the y for the x let's say x equals value 0 usually Usually that's the value that x is. Now under this we can say something like if uh, hypothetically the r value was less than 25 because remember it's changing all the time so it could be less than 25, it could be more uh, then make the x value add the a value to it. Do that, you know, if one thing happens, do that. Then just copy and paste that and say uh, if the R is at some point greater than maybe 75, then subtract the A value from it. Don't forget your semicolons. Uh, hit return here. Um, and let's see. What did, I, what did I do wrong? Value. Spelling is important, everybody. So, what have we created? We're saying... We have an R that's going to change every frame from 0 to 100. We have an A that's going to be, you know, whatever this slider is. We have X, which usually is going to be whatever we input. We have a Y that's usually going to be whatever we input. Actually, it's always going to be that. But anyway, but if the R is ever less than 25, we're going to add the A to the X. And if the R is greater than 75, we're going to take away the A from the X. And although that's a lot of verbiage, what it looks like is something that sometimes stands still and sometimes moves around. Now when you edit these values, let's say less than 5, uh, greater than 95, you see it's less likely that it's going to shift around. So we now have things built in that are going to make things more or less random and we're going to be able to better control what's happening so you can come in and manually edit these numbers but move ahead to step six for ultimate control of this expression as we finalize and put all of the parts together uh, i'm evan abrams thank you so much for watching i hope this series really helps you out with expressions and helps you build expressions and build better expressions and all that fun stuff but uh and, you know, helps you make things twitch around, although that's not really super interesting, uh, you know, it's just a mechanism for us to learn this thing. So, anyway, I'm Evan Abrams, uh, we're talking about expressions, if you want to go back to previous things and learn those, 
give it a whirl. Uh, they're easier than this and are the building blocks of this stuff. If you want to move ahead to the final thing, go nuts. If you've already skipped there and you didn't watch this, then how am I talking to you? I'm Evan Abrams. I'll see you around the internet.